Hello again, everyone. My name is Rachel Kramer here with the Solar Car team. We're here in the Wilson Center, and behind me, the team is working on packing up the Solar Car. We'll be shipping out to Australia in less than a week. Uh, so thanks very much for all of your great responses and questions. To get started answering Andrew's question, there's actually no back seat in the solar car, so no room for recreational activities. So Human and Wally asked if the solar car can run on cloudy days, and Joe asked how fast the solar car can run. Our last solar car hit a top speed of 105 miles an hour, so we can pr cruise pretty quickly. Um, as for cloudy days, the car does have a battery in it, so when we drive very quickly or on a cloudy day or even at night, we are using battery power. So our next question comes from YouTube. Joyce9 asked, did you make many changes to Quantum after your mock race earlier this summer, or were you pretty happy with how things went during that race? So we did make some changes to Quantum uh, between the race and now, and those changes have been definitely improvements, but I'm afraid I can't share with you all of those things because they are a matter of secrecy. One of our YouTube subscribers asked about the drivers, and all three drivers are students on the team. They get professional driver training at Ford and have several hundred miles of testing inside the car before they're allowed to race. The rules say that we can only have our drivers in the car for six hours, but we usually take them out faster than that, and that's largely because the car isn't very comfortable. It's not made to be a luxury vehicle. You can really only be there for four or five hours, and there isn't any air conditioning, so our drivers always come out kind of hot and sweaty and tired. Another one of our YouTube subscribers, Kostin, asked, when will solar cars be practical for the average consumer and why are they not on the road today? So in my opinion, I don't think solar powered cars, if they were 100% solar powered, are really gonna be practical for a very long time, if ever. And that's largely because what we have to do to this car to make it able to drive 60 miles an hour on the open road does not make it practical for taking your kids to soccer practice or going to the grocery store. The technology that's on this car that is really applicable is all the optimization that we do. So optimizing the car to be light and very aerodynamic, using the electrical systems so that they're very efficient. Uh, the batteries that we use in this car are used in hybrid technologies, and the solar cells themselves could probably be used for uh, powering auxiliary systems, for instance. So there's a lot of technology on this car that will be very applicable, but the 100% solar-powered car probably will not be, at least for a very long time. As for the future of this car, we certainly hope that this coming October we will take it to Australia and win the World Championship, making us the first American student team ever to win this race. So I hope that you'll follow us on umsolar.com and root for our team. Go Blue! So thank you again for your questions and look out for a new Ask M soon.